My name is Thorsten Orgaard. I'm a Danish photographer. I travel the world taking photographs and teaching photography. Today I am in Havana, Cuba, and I'm going to tell you a little trick on the Leica M11. Before I get into the little helpful trick, uh, below the video there is a free ebook I wrote about some of the iconic photographs through time and the photographer who took them uh, and how they did it. And I also write how I take photographs and why I take photographs. That's a free ebook, it's normally $38. You put in the code, it's free. As a bonus, there's also free Leica presets and styles for Capture One and Lightroom, and that is the handful of presets and styles that I use. Uh, for all my edits to make black and white and color photos basically from any camera and you can do that too you can use it for Sony, Fuji, Nikon, or Canon, whatever and get the Leica look or at least you can get my look how I think black and white should be there's like four, for example there's four different uh, tones of black and white normally it's $48 you put in the code it's free and you just do it now and download you have it in a few minutes I have a habit that when I get a camera, and I use it a lot, and also lenses, but particular cameras, I will write uh, a lot of free articles on my website about them, and I also write uh, books and do video classes on them. On the Leica M11, I have written uh, the Leica M11 Know All ebook, and that is about the history of the camera, tricks and tips and settings, how to deal with colors, how to deal with focus, everything. And there's also a video masterclass for the Leica M11 and you can buy the two as a package. There's a link below the video and there's also in one of the corners I'll put a link through the video where you can click and you can buy the full package if you want to know everything there is to know about it. But today's uh, trick is free. A trick is only helpful if you know why is it a trick, <laughs> how does it, what does it do and uh, I presume you have the Leica M11 or you're familiar with it, uh, but let me just tell you that a Leica M is a manual focus. It's always been, kind of always will be, there's no plans or you could say technical possibilities of making it out of focus. Uh, so this is a range finder. The way it works is that you have a focus ring on the lens here and when you turn this, you look for a viewfinder here and you see uh, the frame of whatever you're taking a picture of and in the center of that there's a little highlighted extra frame that you match and that's basically a distance measurement. And the way that works is that you have a little eye over here uh, that also see what you're pointing at and that's the one that lies on top of this frame over here. So when the two frames are on top of each other, that's the actual distance, that's the focus that you have. So that's the how the manual focus works. Then since uh, we had the Leica M240, in uh, 2013, Leica have integrated Live View, and Live View is simply where you can see live on the screen here, or in an EVF like this one, you can see live what the sensor sees. And I help you see the framing, the focus, the exposure, everything. Uh, and particularly, you could say some people they say, "Oh, my eyes, I'm getting old, or my eyes are not so good, so I can't really see the rangefinder." It's a little bit not true. There's a whole section in my video masterclass how easy it is to focus with a uh, rangefinder if you just put your mind to it and stop making it so complicated. Different story. Uh, but the EVF, you could say, is a solution. It's kind of like the mirrorless idea that came with Leica in 2013 and is in the Leica M10 and now the Leica M11. Um, Leica have always been mirrorless. There's never been a mirror inside. You always had like the lens here and the film or sensor just right behind. So it's always mirrorless. Uh, but here now you can see live what uh, the sensor sees. And then when you have live view, of course you want to use it to get good focus. So one of the things that uh, a camera has is that it has focus aid, and focus aid is simply that it zooms in to, you have a frame and you zoom into it 5x or 10x, so you can see a detail of it, you can make that detail really sharp. Um, so you can say almost how bad your eyesight is, you can almost zoom in and you can make that thing sharp. And that goes, you could say, here you have live view on the back of the, of, of the screen here, um, and some people actually like to use a camera like this, so you focus here 
and then you see now it's the album and you take the photograph. And in this day and age where so many people are used to having a smartphone and take photos with smartphone, it makes totally sense. I'm more old school, I always had cameras where you look through uh, the range finder here, uh, or a viewfinder, or I used Nikon in the past, and I've used other brands also. So I like the idea that you put on an electronic viewfinder, and that is uh, this little one here. So you put, you can say it looks a little bit clunky, but it's very practical, uh, because now you look through this one, uh, and it's kind of like very private where you're looking at it. It's not like everybody behind you can see what you're taking a photo of. Uh, it also has some features that you can tilt it like this, you can take a photo like this. And one of the interesting thing is that when you take a photo like this, like it's like an old two-eyed film camera, you take a picture of people, they actually don't sense that you're taking a picture of because you're not looking at them. Very strange, but that's how it is. So that's one of the features also, and you can do all kinds of weird angles with it, uh, shoot around corner and so on. So that's the one that I like to use. So here comes the trick, and the trick is that when you have focus at 8 on a Leica M11, then when you turn the focusing ring here slightly, then the focus aid turns on, which means that uh, the camera zooms in on the scene. Um, the problem with that is that it takes one and a half to two seconds for the camera to actually activate, focus aid, now we look at this, um, and then you can focus, and then when you press the release shutter half down, you get the full frame again. So now you can actually compose it. You have the sharpness, now you can compose and see this is how I want it. I'm gonna tilt the camera a little bit so I have straight lines and so on. And then you take the photograph. The problem then is if you take, for example, a portrait session or anything you do, and you have the focus, and you think I'm just gonna adjust the focus a slightly bit, then the focus aid turns on. So now you're actually looking at the full frame and you're may waiting for maybe something to happen and the right time to take the photo. But now you're just looking at 10% uh, of the frame, so you don't know what's going on. And then you have to press the scanner. That's super annoying uh, because it's like you turn the focus, then go one and a half, two seconds, and oops, now I can't see my frame. You press this. So there's a lot of uh, disturbance. It's just kind of like the camera's working against you. So the solution to that is that you simply go into the menu here uh, and you go to screen number three. And in the bottom of screen number three is something called capture assistance. And you go in there and the last line on that is focus aid and you set it to manually. And here comes what is really smart then because now uh, I turned off the camera. Now I turn on the camera again and I look for here, I don't have live view. So what I do is I press this function button here once and now it turned on live view just like that, no delay. Then when I press it again, now it zooms into 10x, and then when I press it again, it zooms out. And there's no delay, so that means I only have focus aid when I want it. So if I'm doing a portrait and now I actually want to check the focus, I can press this and focus on the eye, set the focus, press it again, and now I can deal with the full frame. So that makes it much more you controlling the camera and makes it much more intuitive. And there's one detail I should mention here, and that is that if you have gotten a Leica M11, and that also go for like M10, like M240, and you have to focus and you turn it, and now the focus is, is on, but you just, nothing really happened. You, your thought is supposed to zoom in. Uh, that is a setting in the beginning of it, so when you turn on uh, the live view, or not the live view, yeah, you turn on the live view, but then you turn on the focus by turning the focus, then you use the thumb wheel to change it from 1x to 5x or 10x. And whichever you change it to 5x, the next time you activate live view uh, and focus it, it's going to be 5x. And then you can, of course, use the wheel again if you want to go 10x. In generally, I would say if you have uh, a wide angle lens, then you don't want to have, uh, you basically want to have 10x focus because that's what you need there to actually come in and focus. If you have a 90 millimeter, 75 millimeter lens or something like that, and you have 10x focus, you're looking at, you can hardly tell what is the constant you're looking at. So 5x is better than even for 50 millimeter, I would go 5x. But that's something you can experiment with. But that is the setting. Uh, it makes it very intuitive, very easy to use. So that is my advice to you today. If you want to know everything there is to know about the Leica M11, then use the link up there, in one of the corners or below the video. Uh, 
and go to my website and find the Leica M11 No All ebook and also the Leica M11 video class. You can buy either one of them or you can get a package where it's cheaper uh, to buy both of them. That's all I had to say today. Till I see you the next time. Thank you for watching and remember to always wear a camera. Thank you.